Hi guys, welcome back. Now it's time to make a butterfly. This is one I use in line work because it goes pretty quick. Um, it's pretty big for kids that love the things that are big, they, they can fly around. And it can be very colorful depending on, you know, you can pick all kinds of different colors. Yes, usually girls like the pinks and purples, and that's okay. So we start off with our nine inch round. You can use a five inch round, um, but I like the nine inch round because it gives his tummy a, a bigger area. So we're gonna blow this one up. This is just like the snowman, how it starts off. You don't blow the balloon up all the way. Burp it, tie it off. And just like when we made the snowman, we're gonna give him a good squeeze. We're gonna twist off his head. And then we're going to ear twist that. So this is basically our snowman body. But now he's going to be a butterfly. This is going to be his head. This is going to be his bottom. And I take a 260, fully inflated. Go ahead and give it a good burp. Take the ends, tie them together. Split that in half. I like to pull it through to lock it, set that on the side, and then we take a 160, same thing, blow it all the way up, give it a good squeeze, but we're not going to tie the ends together on this one. I'm going to go maybe about a foot or so up. It depends on how big I want to make these wings. It's not an exact science. I'm going to twist these together and lock it through. And, oh, look, we got a fish. Fish 101. Twist that in half. And here's the smaller set of wings. What I do with this leftover, I spiral it together. This is going to end up being his handle. We're going to take these two and we're going to join them together. So now we have the butterfly's wings. And now we have to attach them to the body. So where the joint is for these and the joint for the butterfly's head. We're going to put them together and twist and then adjust. And we lost his head. We're going to go ahead and twist that right back in. He's not cooperating, but that's okay. We'll get it. Usually this goes really fast. Now we're just going to adjust this. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We've got the top wings, the bottom wings. He's tushy. And our little flying stick. And then we need to do artwork. You can either draw on the eyes or... Here I have these handy dandy little eyeball stickers. I get these from T. Myers. They're great when you're in a hurry. And sometimes the kids just like them. They're like, oh, they're so cute. They're kind of small, so on the bigger designs, I don't use them very often. Okay, so this is where we're at now for our butterfly. And then he needs a set of antenna. When I have scraps, I like to hang on to them, probably because I'm a pack rat. I made these up about a week ago for a job I had to make. Um, I, had this, I had this great idea of making these um, crazy hats uh, with all these dealy boppers on them. And I never got that far. Everybody wanted different stuff, so I still had these. These are a week old, and they still look really good. So I'm thinking I might do that from now on when I have a handful of scraps. Just make some up, um, make some dealy boppers, because this really saves time if they're done in advance. So we're going to take two of these. These are just made out of 160s. They can be out of whatever you got. I'm going to tie them together. And look, they're even the same color. Kids even like it when things don't match in color. They think it's very silly. Now all we're going to do is add that into our butterfly. Slide it underneath the neck. And there is your quickie butterfly. I have another one coming up really soon. Oh look, his antenna is cockeyed. That's okay. You can just fix it. The kids love it anyway. Alright, thanks for stopping by. I'll show you another butterfly in just a few minutes. Thanks.